Good afternoon. Could you please uh, tell us about yourself, your background in the travel industry and hospitality as well? Well, this is a long story, eh? but I cut the story short <laughs> because, uh, uh, well, I started, uh, I come from an industrial family, a uh, German family, which were in the textile business for many centuries. centuries. And uh, I decided to go into the hotel business, I mean, because I was traveling with my father around the world. So I started with a little hotel school and uh, I found it very interesting. And then I wanted to see the world and that's the reason why I was traveling to France, first of all, to take my first job over there in Holland and Kenya and Nairobi and so forth. And uh, at the end of the day, I went back to school. So I started in Switzerland with a bachelor degree there and then uh, went over to St Florida State University in Miami, started there. And then I joined a very well-known company, which is actually also in Turkey, which is Hilton. and. Uh, I continued to work with Hilton and uh, then I moved my way up, let's put it this way, uh, to a senior vice president position in a big uh, French uh, multinational company. And uh, I joined uh, Kempinski uh, about one and a half years ago after having worked in 17 countries and on all the continents in fact. You have been in several, as you say, all, all the continents. How you, what do you think about the Turkish hospitality industry and how you see the hotel business here in Turkey? Well, the, 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 the hospitality industry in Turkey is uh, well developed, it's what always well developed. Uh, well, Antalya was, was a destination, very famous destination for the Germans, by the way, at the time. Um, I mean, you have a beautiful landscaping, you have fantastic beaches, uh, great history. So there's something in for everybody. But in the last years, for sure, Istanbul, which is actually not the capital, but it's, for me it's like the unofficial capital because it's the economical capital of the country. Uh, there was a tremendous uh, development here and all international hotel groups moved over. And uh, well, uh, with a big success. And Chiang Palace, uh, Kempinski for sure also, because we are uh, the leading hotel here around to Turkey, so we are very successful. Now, in the future, you told me what, what I think about the future. I mean, the future is another story. I believe there are a lot of hotels in the luxury segment coming in. And uh, I think over a certain period of time, uh, it will be rather difficult to absorb all these rooms. There will be a certainly a stagnation. This is what I believe. And uh, you have to bear also in mind that uh, Istanbul is becoming an expensive destination. So uh, also for conferences and big mice group, there's a lot of competition out there, especially if you have noticed this, uh, this economic crisis which we have in some of the countries. So your neighboring country like Greece, uh, they try to do everything they can to get uh, foreigners uh, in the country to spend the money. But not, they are not the only ones, there's Morocco and other destinations which are highly competing on this market with Istanbul. Uh, can you tell us about the Chiang Palace Kempinski a little bit more? Why do the guest travelers prefer here? Why they want to stay here? Also, we have some news that lately you uh, refresh or renew your kitchen team, I think. Uh, there are some new uh, uh, employees. Yeah. What's going on? Well, so for 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 uh, Shan Palace, I mean, you know, why are the people coming here? I mean, they must have a reason because uh, we are not the cheapest hotel in the world. But uh, I think the best way is to ask our customers. And uh, what I hear from them is what makes this hotel so outstanding. It's not only his unique location and his history. It's also the people who are working there. Because at the end of the day, you are buying uh, an experience. You're not uh, stay your whole, uh, your whole day when you come to Istanbul in the bathroom, you know. Uh, at, me, uh, at least me, I'm not staying in the bathroom all day long. So uh, I use the facilities of the hotels. We have 4.8 hectares uh, land, which is the biggest uh, hotel property here on the, on the Bosporus. And secondly, uh, we have uh, people who are there since the opening, you know, every customer's name and uh, 
well, we have a good experience in servicing and creating guest experience and everlasting memories for the people once they go back to the country. We are real ambassador hotel for the hospitality in Turkey. That's, that's uh, I'm sure about this one. Concerning what we are doing with our with our staff, we have new and old staff. For the new staff, for the old staff who became new, I mean, we we decided uh, that uh, our executive sous chef Cesar became the executive chef uh, of Shan Palace. Uh, he's in the Turkish national uh, quite a long time with us, and uh, I think it's time also for expatriates to to train our local colleagues to take over one day. So hopefully one day there will be a Turkish general manager in Shian Palace instead of me. So uh, this is the first, uh, to my feeling, the first uh, uh, luxury hotel executive chef, I would say, Turkish here uh, in, uh, in Istanbul. And we have new ones. We have a pastry chef, which is a foreigner. He's an uh, American. Uh, Roger William McCarrick, he is a, a gold winner uh, as a chocolatier and uh, very uh, focused on the quality and that's the reason why he's, uh, he's now with Shian Palace and uh, we are producing now 99% of our, our food and everything we are producing ourselves here, we don't not hardly buy anything from outside anymore like it is in most of the hotels uh, let's say, uh, uh, in Istanbul on the, on the luxury market. Uh, we have a food and beverage manager who's German, so we have a very cosmopolitan hotel, like <laughs> our, like our uh, customers that come from every corner of the world. So we have also people, we take the best ones we can find. So uh, he uh, was a long time, uh, long time with a very well-known American company, which I don't want to mention. Uh, for 15 years and he decided to join Kempinski uh, and a couple of months ago, I think it, uh, he joined about five, six months ago uh, to drive the FAP departments, uh, give, give better quality and uh, find a way how we can, let's say, continuously reinvent our food and beverage offer. Uh, I would like to congratulate you, uh, since you are getting many awards every year without any break. Uh, could you please name us some of the latest awards you get? And well, how you do it? How you, how you do this? I don't know how I do it because you know <laughs> there. You know, as you know, in the business, in the hotel business, you have awards which you buy. Huh? Mm. Uh, you have to give some special services, and you get award. One of them is, for example, the Five Diamonds Award in the United States, or what is the other one, World, uh, World Award, or whatever, you know. This is just to, uh, I mean, you know, to, we are not looking for this. Because the real ones uh, who are deciding whether you are awarded and, uh, or not are the customers. So we only take awards seriously, which are really done by our customers or readers by, from international newspapers. So we had Condé Nast, for example, America, uh, Best Hotel. We had uh, the, 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 the Condé Nast in uh, Russia, just the first edition, if I remember well, who came out there. On the ITP, where you were also, also huh? yeah. uh, we got the uh, Connoisseur Cycle uh, Award, Best Grand Hotel in Europe. We had a tough competition, but uh, still we made it. And this, all these awards we're getting for this year, since the beginning of this year, we got four international awards. Um, well, they are done by the clients. They experience and they say, okay, we have seen so many people, so many hotels around the world which is the one we love the best and then it comes out at Cheyenne Palace often for our service, for the fantastic location we have uh, well, uh, and the experience we provide, we uh, are the number one and I'm very happy, I, I hope it will be not the last one we got, <laughs> I hope there will be many, many others to come. <laughs> yeah, I believe so, they will come. Uh, is there any other new Kempinski developments in Turkey? New hotels are going to come? Well, we are we're negotiating. Uh, we are negotiating on the Asian side for the Kempinski because the uh, Asian side is a completely different city. Let's put it this way: it's more a business ma business uh, type uh, destination inside of Istanbul. 
but the European side is also leisure and uh, shopping and uh, what have you. So, so uh, like here we have an urban resort in fact. Now, we are looking also for a hotel in, uh, in Izmir because we, uh, first of all, we, I like the city very much, it's a very beautiful city and um, we are looking to complement our existing network which we have already in Belek and uh, in, in Bodrum uh, by Izmir, uh, maybe Ankara. We Izmir look. Center or? We want, to, we want to have the best on the, on, the, on the Corniche, what I call the Corniche, maybe it's not the right appellation, but we want to have the ocean view yeah. uh, if possible and uh, uh, as close as possible to the, to the old town, it's fantastic this old town, uh, it's a fantastic uh, place. So we, we are looking at destination, we have a lot of offers to take over hotels, etc. but we are very choosy because we are not there to make the quantity, we are making uh, the quality. So we are not announcing like Amer American hotel groups, we are going to build 300 hotels or whatever, or we build another 1,000 room hotel. You know what I'm talking about, uh, with the Kama American company. I, I, you know, this is not really what we want. We want to have a juicy places and very, uh, let's say, complementary to the network we are having today. So if you have Chiran Palace, we don't want a second Chiran Palace in in Istanbul, neither on the Asian side, neither here. So we want uh, we want to have a different experience. Let's put it this way: in a different location in uh, in uh, in Istanbul, like on the Asian side. But all offers are studied and politely we answer to all offers for, for sure. So do do you have any dates for the next? No, 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 no. We don't have any dates. We, we some negotiations are more advanced than other ones. But I think for to negotiate a hotel, you know, it's, to have a partner in a hotel business is like a marriage. Eh? You're not married for one year, you're not married for two years. Happily, most of the time, you're married for the lifetime. But in, in a hotel business, if we have a partner, we want to continue, like here in Kempinski, where we, oh, Kempinski opened the Shan Palace. We are still there, there after 22 years. So we want to have a nice relationship with the owning company, and really we see them as a partner and not on a one shot. And that's the reason why, like you, are uh, uh, checking out whether when you marry, you want to marry with the right wife, the right character, the right personality, etc. That's the same thing for us. We want to have the right owner, we want to arrive at the right hotel, for the right, at the right place, etc. You know, so we take our time to make it happen. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much.